This summer is the fifth summer that I will be on a research vessel collecting reef fish samples. The MARMAP program is one of the sole data providers to the managing entity of the snapper grouper fishery. And that fishery comprises 73 species and it's commercially valuable in the millions of dollars. We usually leave Mondays, come back Fridays. We have nine scientific crew and six boat crew. We spend the most of the day trapping fish, so we have a gear type called a chevron trap, and we uh, bait those up with herring, um, deploy them on the bottom for usually 90 minutes, and then pick them back up, sort the catch, measure everything, weigh everything, and then we also keep certain specimens that are usually uh, of more economic importance and take some other biological parameters such as we take their otoliths. Um, you can age a fish using an otolith, it's their ear bone. That age data is very useful in managing the stock and seeing how the populations change over time. So I collected muscle tissue samples over the summer, last summer, as well as the summer before that. And I'm analyzing those using an elemental analyzer to look at isotope ratios. So particularly nitrogen and carbon isotope ratios. And nitrogen has been useful in particular to determine the trophic level of a given specimen. The information that is, pertains to my thesis in particular is, is somewhat outside that realm in terms of usefulness for management, but hopefully in the future it won't be. There's various multi-species approaches, um, some modeling techniques that can be used to predict changes in entire communities, um, also down to the population level. Um, and it takes in, it, it accounts for other factors such as you know, climate change, uh, some of the other human influences besides fishing. I wouldn't be able to go sample offshore every summer unless I was here. Um, you can volunteer with them, but it's, it wouldn't be the same. I wouldn't be able to work as an integral part of the team.